Inner City Irish Festival. NOR continuously supports the United Irish Society's Queen of Detroit program, scholarship program, the Rose Kennedy Court of St. Bridget scholarship program, the Palatine Fathers, the Detroit Capuchins, and several schools of Irish dance in Detroit. Planning, working, and attending the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Detroit has been a 60-year passion for her. In recognition of her dedication and service to the Irish community, in 2013, Nora received the high honor of being named as the Grand Marshal of the Detroit St. Patrick's Day Parade by the United Irish Societies of Detroit. That year, she was also named Palatine Woman of the Year for her service and support of the Palatine Fathers and their missions. In the best tradition, Nora is a charitable, giving, and dedicated Irish American woman. It's said, "'Tis a blessing to be Irish, I would say, tis a blessing to know Nora Cassidy. Nora is truly deserving of the honor of membership in the Michigan Irish American Hall of Fame. She is the embodiment of the symbols of a well-known emblem of Ireland, the Clada. The hands for her friendship and service to her community, the crown for her loyalty to her Irish heritage and culture, and the heart for her love of faith, family, community, and all things Irish. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to introduce Nora Cassidy to the 2019 Michigan Amer Irish American Hall of Fame. Inductees, ladies and gentlemen, and to all our young and up and coming leaders, that is our children, I just want to wish you a K Meal Falsha. I am honored by this great privilege to be amongst all these people today. I wish to thank Kevin Donovan and his entire committee for this great year he has put on again. Thanks also to the committee who are the reason for me standing here today. I will not keep you long. I only want to leave you with a few thoughts. First of all, I want to say thank you to Jerry for those wonderful remarks about me. Thanks again, Jerry. The only thing I want to leave with everyone is a simple but true. That is, keep your Irish heritage and culture flowing daily. Thank you. Never be bashful to say that you're Irish. Be proud and wear it well. Uh, the other thing I would like to bring to everyone's attention, for those of us who are very fortunate to have Irish parents or grandparents, I implore you and I beg you to go ahead and apply for your dual citizenship. <coughs> this is an honor and a privilege, and God only knows when they're gonna pull that plug, and we won't be able to have it. Uh, we've had an experience this summer, we went to Ireland, and when we flew into Dublin, we presented our passports, my daughter has hers, and the gentleman looked at her passport, and on her passport there's several stamps we go every year. And he looked at her and he looked at me and he said, um, do you have an Irish passport? And I thought, oh no, here we go. Because now I have stuff in my luggage that maybe they are going to completely take away. I said to myself, oh, okay. She said, yes, I do. And he said, do you have it with you? She said, yes, I do. He said, I want to see it. He took it from her and he said, Sheila, when you enter Ireland from here on in, present this dual citizenship passport. We love you and we'll never send you away. So, folks, Go after it. They might pull the plug. Um, let's see here. And when you apply for your dual citizenship, it has nothing to do with your American citizenship. It'll never interfere with it. Never, in no way, no how. Um, 
the, I, the, in closing, I would like to say, although I have an American heart, I want you all to know that every drop of blood that runs through my body is of Irish blood. And worse yet, it's Kerry blood. <laughs> and by the way, Kerry is now in Dublin, or maybe it's over, I don't know, Phil, if you've been watching. Uh, they're playing Dublin, Kerry and Dublin are playing to bring back the Stan McGuire to Ireland, or to Kerry again. Um, and by the way, I would like to thank uh, Kevin Donovan and his committee for everything they have done to keep this festival going. I was here probably 18, 19 years ago when my uh, daughter did stick fencing, and it was a nice, lovely fish, but my God, have they come a long way, Charlie. It is great, it is fabulous. I want to thank everybody who traveled here today to be of support to me and my family. I want to thank my son, his wife Beth, my two lovely grandchildren, Oliver and Quinn, who are in the back there, to my great daughter who supports me and keeps me in check, and to all of you people who came here today to keep me on the right line. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and my last wish is that I will live to see the day that Ireland will be free from center to the sea. God bless you. Well, congratulations, uh, Nora, and uh, those are very, uh, very heartfelt uh, uh, thoughts, and, and the dual citizenship idea is something that a lot of us overlook. Right. Thank you. This time, <clears throat> at this time, we'll call forward Aaron and Dave Keen, who will present our next nominee, Patrick Johnson. Put me on this side. <laughs> He's wrong handed, so he has to go on that side. Pat Johnson's mother, Mary O'Neill, I'm sorry, Mary O'Neill Johnson was born in Thurlis County, Tipperary. She immigrated to the United States in 1956 and moved to Redford, Michigan, where she raised her two children to appreciate their heritage. At an early age, Pat became involved in the Irish community in the metro area of Detroit in many ways growing up, excuse me, grew up helping at the Gaelic League where his mother was an active member. 20 years ago, Pat founded Shamrock DJ Services, Michigan's premier Irish DJ company. He's a standard feature at Irish weddings, Irish dinner dances, parish festivals, and a variety of fundraisers. Pat also serves as the current executive director of the Michigan Irish American Chamber of Commerce, responsible for stimulating and promoting commerce between Ireland and Michigan. <coughs> Through the years, his ability with a microphone led him to be chosen for a variety of tasks in the Irish community. He has been the public address announcer for the Great Lakes Fesh in Lansing, Michigan, the Glass City Fesh in Toledo, Ohio, Master of Ceremonies for the Motor City Irish Festival for several years, event DJ for the 2012 and 2013 Mid-America Oireachtas in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Master of Ceremonies for the United Irish Society's Parade Kickoff Fundraisers for many years, and Master of Ceremonies for the St. Patrick's Senior Center Irish Festival in Detroit. Pat is always the guy to go to for such valued jobs. What? Pat never slows down. So in addition to all those things, he also has many other positions that are ongoing. He is the uh, exclusive DJ for all Ardan Academy of Irish Dance events, including Master of Ceremony for the Ardan Academy Celtic Extravaganza. Pat has also been the on-air guest host of the Irish Radio Hour, as well as the engineer for the remote broadcast. In 2011, Pat received the John Heinzman Senior Award for his continued and untiring support of the annual Great Lakes Fesh. This is my favorite part. In January 2016, Pat launched a successful Irish Music Cafe radio show on the internet. Through this medium, Pat has developed loyal listeners all over the world and has won the admiration of fellow broadcasters in Ireland and the US and they often appear on each other's shows. 
When Pat visits Ireland, he is regularly interviewed on TIP FM and Mick O'Brien's critically acclaimed Dublin program. On his own program, Pat works hard to create a show that is ex inclusive of the brand uh, of the broad range of Irish music and song. He typically conducts interviews with guests who are emerging international stars of the Irish music scene, as well as legends that have been making music for many years. As someone recently put it, Patty knows them all, and they know him. In addition, Pat is an active member of the Gaelic, Gaelic League Irish American <laughs> Club of Detroit, a member of the Fraternal Order of United Irishmen, the Knights of Equity Court Six, and serves on the committee of the Motor City Irish Festival. <coughs> when Dave and I proudly served as 2018 Grand Marshals for the Detroit St. Patrick's Day Parade, we quickly learned what an, excuse me, that it was a year-long honor. As that year unfolded, we came to appreciate the difference between show horses and work horses. Pat Johnson is a work horse, and it, sorry, he's a good friend. Pat Johnson is a workhorse, and everyone in Southeast Michigan knows it. It is precisely because he wants no honor for himself, but to advance his love for all things Irish, that Pat is so deserving of this honor. Thank you, Aaron and Dave. And I will point out that uh, Aaron and Dave are both co-hosts on our Irish radio program, the Irish Music Cafe. So they do a wonderful job supporting the program as well. Along with Aaron and Dave, I'd like to thank the uh, Muskegon Irish American Society and the Michigan Irish American Hall of Fame for this wonderful honor. Um, I'm very humbled and grateful to be included with this amazing group of 